Scotland has so much to offer. We've got Scotch whisky, we've got haggis, we've got great scenery, we've got wonderful cities, we've got some great comedians of our own, but we can always have another one in the right. Edinburgh Fringe, so, you know. You know I'm, I'm happy to go there. You know what? Stop pitching me on Scotland. Let me pitch you on America. I know I that America. you've got a little bit of a Jones for getting out of this whole United Kingdom. We went through a very similar process. <laughs> Let me let me talk you through You were a it. bit more successful, although I don't think we'll try to do it your way. <laughs> let me tell you what they hate. They hate when you throw their stuff into the water. That's where we went wrong. Have you tried that? <laughs> Joining us now, the New York Times calls from one of the most powerful players in British politics, <laughs> the First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, who is making her first trip to the United States. It is very nice to meet you. We address her first minister. First minister, first yes. minister. Uh, just <laughs> Madam stunning, Postman. stunning results that seem to come out of nowhere the last yeah. week. I, I know that it takes years mm. and years to build something up like that, but it seems that the media just sort of caught attention the last week and said, oh my God. Yeah, Something's happening. all the signs have been there that the SNP was going to have a stunning result in the UK general election, but I think it took everybody by surprise just how amazing that result how was. How did that happen? Why did um, that because, happen? Because, as you know, we had the referendum last year on whether or not Scotland should become an independent country, and the vote was against becoming an independent country. But I think after that, people thought, well, OK, we're still a part of the United Kingdom, but we must have a stronger and more powerful voice in the United Kingdom and that's why people voted SNP to give us a much louder voice so that Scotland has a much bigger profile not just at home but in the international stage as well. First Minister, I can't tell you the number of Americans since the UK election who have asked me, does this mean we're going to see an independent Scotland in our lifetimes? Um, the result of the election doesn't necessarily mean that. The election What's your gut? wasn't. Yeah, my gut says we will see an independent Scotland in our lifetimes. But it's not going to happen just because I or my party want it to happen. It will only happen if a majority of people in Scotland want that. In the meantime, we're determined to make Scotland a success as we can be. My message in the United States this week is we're open for business. Scotland's a fantastic place to invest in and to work in. We're a successful modern democracy and you know if people watching want to visit or to invest there they're more than welcome. <laughs> how do you view Ms. First Minister the relationship between Scotland and the United States and how do the Scots view it? Generally. Very positively. Uh, Scotland and the United States have a long history of a very good and, and positive relationship. The United States is one of the biggest investors in Scotland. Scotland does very well at attracting international investment and much of that comes from the United States. So that's a very important economic relationship. But you know there are many, many people of Scottish descent living in the United States. I, I think something like 10 million people across the US claim to have a link to Scotland. And there are many people from the US living in Scotland. So there are family links and cultural links as well. And they're really important to us. Obviously the most powerful female hmm. politician uh, in the United Kingdom since Margaret Thatcher. I'm sure you have a big, <laughs> big, big portrait of her in your office, right? <laughs> no. Massive. No. Massive. Strangely I only no. say that because it seems like everybody north of London I, I do uh, say don't in, love you her know, as I, much as... I was brought up uh, to believe you shouldn't speak ill of those no longer with us. So I yes. also, always try to say something positive. And what I've settled on is Margaret Thatcher was a big motivation for me to get into <laughs> politics, yes, sure. but to oppose uh, much of what she stood I'm, for. I'm uh. looking at everything about you, your work on education, and then it says Sturgeon gets an image makeover. You don't need one. No. What? Oh, come on. Who's you, saying that? Uh, and it's called a, sa a soft power look makeover? Yeah. What's what is come? this? It's rubbish. What? It's total rubbish. <laughs> well, Thank no, the you. image makeover happened. Really? Good, it really can no, What did they say? What happened? Who what says it, that in this to... day and age? What? Well, you know, I, I, I got older. <laughs> That's and all that happened. Somebody said something Sometime. to you? No, you know what it's like. You start to yes, dye I your do. hair. I'm, I'm talking to the women here right yes. now. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, you start to dye your hair rather than go grey. That's it. You know, I, I, Scottish politics, UK politics, is not really uh, like American politics in, in this respect. You know, not everybody is absolutely obsessed with with image not that i'm seeing everybody in the united states is obsessed with image but yeah. you know I've, I've not had a deliberate image makeover yeah. not even to come on morning joe oh, oh my god 
know. Okay. Well, we're insulted well, now. All right, fine. <laughs> Willie and I wanted to know your secrets because we, well, at least I need to know. You look great, guys. You don't need to know. First Minister I'll Nicholas. Give up. We're going to come Thank to Scotland. You. Get, no, yeah, we're going to bring. <gasps> we're going to bring Morning Joe to Scotland. Really? Is that a promise? That's uh, a promise. Oh. Commitment. I, I'm going to go out of the studio and announce that to the world. We Very excited. You better not be kidding me on here. the world, you know, we have 74, 74, 75 million people across the world. Excellent. All right, we're coming. Morning Joe. Thank you. We'll be right back.